Hi you guys, welcome back to our channel. As you can see, we are outside right now. Are you my little buddy today? Oh, I'm sorry. So, yeah, we're just kind of killing some time right now. Tatum is napping, and Sky loves to be outside, so we're just out here for a little bit. And, yeah, we are just enjoying this pretty weather today. Hey, Sky, can you say hi? Is that you? Pretty girl. Oh. Oh. Ouch, baby, that hurt. You just hit me right on the face. That hurt really bad. Later on today, Damar's gonna be asking me questions that he's never asked me before. And for those of you who are not new to our channel, you probably saw the video of me asking Damar questions. So we're gonna recreate that same video, just the opposite. So he'll ask me these questions. So I'm a little nervous. Um, I don't know what questions he's, he came up with. I asked him to pick out some today. Where did she go? Skylar Rain. Sky, Sky, where are you? <gasps> Let's go out here. But yeah, anyways, I'm a little nervous because I don't know what questions he came up with. I told him to look some up, but I think he just um, like thought of some on his own. So it'll be interesting to see once what they are. So just stay tuned for that. Hey baby, what are you doing? You playing with some rocks? Mummy's love bug. Huh? Is that you? You see yourself? Can you show me how you run? Be careful though. You got it. One, two, three, go. Ready? Come back. One, two, three, go. <laughs> Good job. One, two, three, go. Oh, can you throw it? Oh, good job. Oh, that's gonna hurt your feet, baby. You can try it. Oh, <laughs> you're a crazy girl. Do you need help? Does it hurt your feet, baby? Good job. All right, you ready to go inside? Yeah. Right, we're gonna go inside and hopefully we can get this one to watch a movie or something so that Daddy and I can film. Is that a good idea? Yeah. All right, guys, we are going to be doing basically the same video we did about a month ago where I asked Damar questions that I had never asked him before. But and this time it's my turn to ask Maria questions. See how it goes. I'm a little nervous. Yeah, I am too, because I literally made all these questions. I didn't look any up, um, so they're truly questions that I've never asked her or haven't asked her recently. So I want to see how her answers have changed, and yeah, just go from there. Sky, can you say Let's hi? Guess I say hi. Say hi. look. Say I was watching a movie. Can you say hi. <laughs> Okay, well, we got our little partner with us. Okay, right. Sky Sky. Yeah? Can you read me the first question? Can you say, what's your favorite thing about life right now? I would say, I would say probably being a mom. 
Okay. And like braiding them together. Like, even though it's one of the hardest things that I've done and I'm doing, it's still like one of the best things I've done. Okay. Next one is what is the biggest lesson marriage has taught you? I feel like recently we've been talking about um, because we are in it for the long run, we can't be treating each other as so. Does that make sense? So basically, like. I know, I know what you're saying. Um, basically, like. Oh, I have you, and I know you're not going anywhere, so I yes. can just say whatever I want, or just kind of not be as careful with the way that we yeah. say things to each other. Because I remember when we first started dating, and you guys can probably relate to this too, just the difference in the way that you communicate. Whereas when you're dating, you kind of like, I don't want to say tiptoe around each other, but I would say kind of, where you are more careful with the way that you say things. And when you're married and you're very comfortable with each other and you're frustrated or whatever, it's easy to just like, Say just exactly, say exactly, how, exactly you feel. how you feel versus being yeah. a, little, a little more careful and, and without being kind. conscious about how someone's gonna, how your partner's gonna receive it. Yes, like to just be like more kind. Oh, here's your pass. We got our little partner back. <laughs> so yeah, I would say that like that's something that we've been working on is just being more conscious of that, and we're by no means like perfect in that at all. But that's something that we are recently like having that conversation of just like, how can we be better in that area? Number three, what is the hardest thing about being a mom? Hmm. These are really taking me a second to think about. I would say for me personally, like just the desire to do everything right with them and then feeling like I fall short and being just hard on myself when I don't follow through with the standard that I hold myself to, you know? Like I want to do everything to my best ability to raise them well and feeling just like the pressure and putting that on myself and yeah, I would just say like mom guilt that comes along with that. Like nobody really talks about like the mom guilt that comes along with being a mom. Like, we're so much harder on ourselves than our kids will be on us. Um, and that's not a free pass to just do whatever and say whatever we want to our kids, but at the same time, I need to learn to have more grace for myself, know that I won't always do everything perfect. So I'd say that's the hardest part, is just trying to learn that and be okay with not always doing it perfect. Have grace for yourself. Yeah. This fourth question, I knew your answer before we were married and had kids, but I want to know what it is now. So, what is your biggest fear? What was it back then? To not be able to have kids. That's right. I forgot about that, no? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then you don't have to worry about that. I would say my biggest fear is how do we lose me? Yeah. Not in like an emotional standpoint, but more like like a physical obviously. Yeah. And I don't know, I feel like just with having children now, like I realize how much I need you more than ever. <laughs> <laughs> rubbing her knees and she thinks it's funny. But... Okay. What is the biggest challenge you that you're facing right now? I would say I touched on it a little bit with the past with a couple other questions. And even in our last video I touched on like a little bit of just the anxiety that I've had recently. Um, but it's just a combination of a bunch of things. I would say like anxiety, um, pressure that I put on myself to perform in a certain way for the girls, or not perform, I don't know what the right word is. And then also struggling with like body image stuff. Just wishing that, or looking at myself in a way that's just like negative. 
thinking horrible things about myself or whatever and I would say that's been a challenge and thinking about how I would be so sad if my girls would think of themselves the way that I think about myself and trying to figure out how to redirect all of that. Is being a stay-at-home mom what you expected it to be? Hmm. Yes and no. I would say looking back or like imagining it before it was a lot more sunshine and rosy. Like, <laughs> you just think of it because of the way that people portray it on social media and just because of the idea, when you, of, it. The idea of it and not actually going through it. It's so much easier to like fantasize about like what it'll be like. And I, w I would say I would, lie, I would be lying if I haven't experienced like the sunshine and roses about it. It's just not all realistic, you know? Mm -hmm. There's so many more hard things that we deal okay. with on a day to day that I didn't imagine or could, didn't have a way of imagining it because I never had gone through it. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite personality trait for each girl? I'd say it's kind of hard to tell with Tatum right now. But for Sky, she is just as sweet as a peach. <laughs> like she is as sour as a. <laughs> she's a sour patch kid. Like yeah, first she's sour, then she's sweet. She's very easy to like make her laugh and to like get her excited about things, and I love that so much about her. I, I love Sky's, Sky's determination, oh, even yeah, though that that's too. kind of a rough thing sometimes. <laughs> She's so determined, you guys. Like, if she sets her mind to do something, she will do it. Mm -hmm. Like, whether that's climbing on something, whether that's, like, getting something that she wants, which can oh. be such a struggle. But yeah, I would say this guy's very, very determined, and I think she's a go-getter. She'll get what she wants in life. And with Tatum... I think Tatum's as sweet as a peach. She is so sweet, too. I would say it's, like I said, it's kind of hard to tell. She's only three, she'll be three months in a couple days. But yeah, she's so smiley and so like chill, it seems like. When you think about me and you, what comes to your mind? Hmm. I would just say like happiness. You make me very happy. Really? <laughs> She's always like, I can't stand you right now. No, I don't. Yes, you Demar, do. I have not once. Tell me when I said that. You said that uh, earlier today. What was I doing? Well, I was just like, kept uh, thinking about you. Yeah, you said that today. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
All right, you guys, well, we hope you enjoyed today's video. I guess earlier when I said that my biggest fear has been to lose the thought of losing Demar has been my biggest fear recently because my grandpa has been battling COVID for the past month at least. Um, and we've been getting updates every day and it's, um, things have just been like kind of discouraging with some of the words that we've been hearing from like just the circumstance and where he is right now and... And him and your grandma have been married for what, 60 years? Yeah, they're going on 60 years of marriage. And up until my grandpa got COVID, he was so healthy. I mean, he's in his 80s and my grandma and grandpa have just been go-getters. They are so healthy and they do things together always and they're just, they've been healthy. So COVID just kind of has blindsided us and it's just really taken a toll on his body or has taken a toll on his body. I guess that's why it's at the forefront of my mind right now is just seeing what my grandma's going through right now and that thought of going through it myself is just you have to be so strong to go through something like that and even though the circumstance right now with my grandpa is not an end all like we don't know what is going to happen um but we are praying and believing for the best in this situation he's um seems to be on the verge of starting to get a little better his lungs um have been in pretty bad shape we're seeing like say. little wins the past three days we've gotten some good words so yeah if um you guys would pray for him that would mean so much to us and um yeah we'll definitely keep you updated with his situation and with how my grandma is doing and yeah we're just i would say overall we're very thankful i am very thankful that i have such an amazing example to look at for my own marriage, to see that my grandparents had spent 60, almost 60 years loving each other. And that is just so beautiful to me. And I'm so blessed and fortunate that we have that example to look towards. So we say all that to say, hug your loved ones. Life's not guaranteed. It's truly a gift. <laughs> so we love you guys. We hope you're enjoying your Sunday or whatever day it is that you're watching this. If you haven't already, hit the like and subscribe button. Follow us along on this beautiful journey. Yes. And if you are new to our channel, I have linked some previous videos that we've filmed as far as like our love story, um, our nighttime routine, and Q and A's. Our Q and A video, like just a few videos that you could better get to know us. But yeah. Until next time, Hi Tower Family. Yeah.